In this video, I'm going to go through a few use cases for Copilot in Excel. While Copilot in Excel isn't perfect, I found it is very good at doing a couple of select things. So I'm pressing the Copilot button here and it's asking me to turn the data into an Excel table. And Copilot for Excel only works on Excel table. So to convert this into an Excel table, I'm going up to insert and clicking table. I'd really suggest to use Copilot for Excel on the online version of Microsoft Office. The desktop version is super buggy and it makes sense because it's interfacing with a large language model. So I can go in here and click some suggestions. The first suggestion I'm clicking on is show me some formula columns that you suggest. And what it's suggesting here is it's suggesting summing the customer name sales on each line. So for each line, I will have a complete sales in the data set for that customer. So I like that formula. I wouldn't have thought of it. And I'm going to put that into my data set. So now I have a total sales per customer there. The most useful function in this is the data insights. So I'm clicking show data insight and analyzes my data and gives me one insight here. But the trick with this is there's about seven or eight insights in the back. So if you say, add all insights to grid, it'll add all those to one page in your Excel workbook. So this is amalgamating all the insights, all the key insights it's gleaned so far, and it's going to put them into graphs and pivot tables. And this is a lot of the analysis of your data done. So it's getting the key insights from here the profit by regions, the quantity by segment and category. I probably wouldn't have used quantity, but you can change that down below. We can see here that tables has a noticeably lower profit, that sales has a couple of outliers per day, that the highest customer is Tamara Chand, and then I can see my category technology accounts for the majority of profit. Any of these uh, graphs, I can go and dig deep. I want to see who's causing this big loss at the end, and I can see it's Sam Craven in here. And then I have all the pivot tables for these pivot charts down below. So I can change any one of these and it'll change the above charts. So super useful. This would take a lot of time to put together yourself. And while it may not get to all the insights you want to see, you can change these pivot tables manually uh, to pull out the charts up above. The next thing I want to show you and probably the most useful functionality of Excel for Copilot at the moment is creating complex formulas. So I'm creating a new column called profit after price increase. And all I want to do in this is reduce the profit by five for each unit of binders and by 10 for each unit of chairs and leave all the other profits the same. And this is quite a complicated formula. Copilot also explains what it's done within the formula here. And I can see exactly what it's doing is what I want it to do. And it's explaining that in plain English. But with all these models, you really need to go in and double check. You need to do a QA on the formula to see that it's coming out with what you want it to come out with. So I've gone into a line here which contains chairs. I've asked it to reduce that by 10 per quantity. So this should be 70 down from the profit of 65.2064. And that's coming out with the right calculation. If I go down into binders, I can see that it's also working here. So I originally had a profit of 8.6. That's down to minus 6.3. So that's down by a quantity of five. So that works well. So I think this is probably going to be the most popular uh, usage of Copilot is just this complex formula creation. And it lets people who don't really know how to do many formulas um, do them quick and easy. So next thing I want to show just two more use cases. I want to highlight loss making sale and I wanted to use profit after price increase. So I'm just going to submit this. And this is going to just highlight those columns. So a really quick and easy highlight of columns. We can get deeper into conditional formatting in another video, but that's going to be super useful as well. And then finally, I want Copilot to sort my data by sales highest first, and it quickly does that. So this tool is a little buggy. It's not perfect yet, but really does have some good functionality and promising for the future. But I'd really suggest you use it online because the desktop, you will just pull your hair out with it.